Kirk, mate, a uh, bit of an eventful game today, pal. Uh, Ronaldo, saviour for United again. I mean, where would we be without Ronaldo this season, buddy? Uh, definitely not. Uh, in with the shout of top four. I mean, I thought the first half we were actually all right. I was looking forward to seeing Hannibal and Garnacho come on. And then, typical United fashion, we just threw it away and then to rely on Ronaldo to bail us out again. That's it, mate. He's basically held us up there, hasn't he? And believe it or not, we're actually only three points off top four now. I mean, playing like that, you don't expect United to be challenging for top four of the table. But is the table lying right now with us being three points off top four? Uh, I would say yes. We definitely don't deserve top four. I mean, we lost to Everton last week, so... And Norwich will feel unlucky there today, won't they? Yeah, I mean, just took one ball, here in behind our defence, slow centre backs, uh, full backs were bombing on, but defensively they're just not what we want. No, and not I at think, all. Uh, if Ten Hag's watching that, he'll be very concerned. He's got a lot of work to do, Annie, he, mate, if he's been watching that there. I mean, there's a lot of players supposedly leaving in the summer. Obviously, Matic announced it in the week. The midfield looked very shaky there today. Pogba booed off as well. Do you think it's the end for Paul Pogba now? Uh, I think he's gone. I think he was gone at the end of the start of the season, sorry. But uh, I thought the first 20 minutes he was actually all right. Like, he's playing as the six. He doesn't really do that. And I thought he was showing for the ball a lot, a lot more than Nick Tomini does. But end of the first half, start of the second half, he was just... Dreadful. Yeah, non-existent. That's it, mate. That's it. I mean, in terms of... Uh, looking ahead now obviously we've got a tough game against Liverpool in a the week then Arsenal uh, do you feel like there's any way we could get anything out of them two games Arsenal in bad form at the moment losing again today no winning three uh, I mean are you are you hopeful we can get anything from these games and challenge or do you feel like it's just a step too far for us now uh, well, I feel like four points would be quite decent but we're going to get smashed by them. I know that. And we'll probably end up drawing with us. And then I reckon Spurs will be out of the picture by then. I still think they're the favourites for top four. And I'm just hoping we don't end up in the conference league. Yeah, that is the ultimate fear. Thursday nights, God knows where we're going to be if we're in that conference league. But, I mean, back on today's game there, I mean, we did add some shocking performances in certain players individually today but I mean is Ronaldo getting man of the match for you for that there today I don't think there's anyone else who can come near him mate is there uh, no definitely not I did think Matt was alright when he came on he did but uh, Rashford tried to beat, him, beat his man a few times didn't work I don't think there's anyone else who even no. comes close to Ronaldo would you be bothered if any of them players on that pitch today left in the summer uh, based on these performances, no. Uh, I've always said that Radford's my favourite player, but he's just not, he's not doing what we want him to do. And I think we just need to trust the, the new manager and get behind whatever he does. You feel like Ten Hag is the right, point, right appointment, the yeah, right man? Definitely. I didn't want the cereal bottler of Pochettino. Definitely didn't not. want him, no. Kirk, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, mate. Thank you for coming on, pal. Thank you. Cheers, mate.